All right, this is dinner for the afternoon uh, from Hardee's. I don't know if you guys know it or not, but you can order just the patty. Uh, Hardee's third pound patties are $2.75 each. Just tell them you want them in a bowl uh, when you order them. And the good news is you can have them put a piece of that cheese on there, whatever you want to call that, imitational cheese. They never can figure out how to ring up just cheese. Uh, it's under the breakfast menu, but you know, hey, it's not my job to tell them where it is. So typically they don't charge you for the cheese. They just charge you for the two patties. Uh, two seventy-five a patty for those over at uh, Hardee's. So five fifty for this. Yeah, it's a little expensive for two third pound patties. Uh, you know, that's two thirds of a pound of beef for like five fifty. Really not bad cooked and you know served and everything, but that's how i get it uh just in case you guys didn't know you know if you're trying to stay low carb you can just order the patties and most of the time for breakfast like if i go to mcdonald's i'll just order uh you know the 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 round egg which is an actual egg not that fluffy imitational egg like product uh I just get a couple round eggs a couple sausage patties or a couple pieces of bacon or whatever but uh, don't know if you guys knew that or not, but yeah, you can order. You don't have to order the sandwich without the bun if you just want the patty. You know, it's cheaper to just get the patty if that's all you're going to eat out of it. So there you go, guys. A little tip of the day. Real quick before I start talking about my diced ham here, uh, I want to add that, you know, the patties from Hardee's is probably not the best way to be consuming some beef. Uh, you know, there's probably filler and things like that in that beef. I'm just saying, like, if you're at the end of the day like I am today and you don't feel like cooking and you just want to grab something quick and go to bed, um, you know, that that's a quick way to do it. Now, most days I would cook my own meal. Um, you know, I keep, I typically keep beef and, you know, a couple pork items and chicken in the, in the fridge anyway to cook. So, uh, that's it, guys. Just, uh, you know, it, it's... It's a supplement. It's not something I would do all the time. Now, let's get into this. All right, I messed up. I need some advice. You guys let me know what you would do. So I bought this pack of diced ham here from Farmland. I bought this at uh, Quick Trip uh, with a K up in Wisconsin, the Quick Trip truck stops, um, you know, uh, what do we got here? No, no added hormones. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's like saying there's no broken glass in it, right? Uh, what else we got here? No artificial colors. I do like that. That's pretty cool. A lot of these meats have artificial colors in them. Um, and the fat free, 94% fat free. I don't really care about that. I wish it had more fat than less fat. Um, my question is, why does ham have three carbohydrates? It's ham. It doesn't need to have carbohydrates in it. And let's see how they got that in there. Here's what's in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm getting a lot of reflection here. Uh, cured with water. Dextrose. For you, you that don't know, uh, dextrose is a form of sugar salt uh two percent or less for modified food starch potassium lactate sodium phosphates sodium diactates sodium elithotrobates sodium nitrate i mean look at all them look at all them big words in a in a package of ham now here is the dilemma i have so, uh, you know, I'm just starting to learn how to, like, eat eat and feed myself, uh, even though, you know, I'm, like, an adult man. Uh, you know, I've just been eating whatever the heck I want for the past 40 years, and it's, you know, it's catching up with me. I'll be honest, you know. Uh, you know, I got, the, I got the metformin going to keep my blood sugar down. You know, I got the listenopril to keep my blood pressure down, and I'm tired of taking those. Honestly, I'm not a... I'm not a pill type of guy. I'm a, I'm a let's 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 stop the let's stop the problem, not you know throw pills at it type of guy. But I thought I was doing good by getting this ham, 
because in the mornings I like to cook myself you know three or four eggs and I like to throw a little ham in there with it so I said oh this will be super easy resealable bag uh, there's eight servings in this I'm like oh yeah that's about right you know you figure one two three you know you know it's like a nice little like you know couple tablespoons of ham I could throw in there with my eggs uh, I thought winning but at the end of the day, uh, you know, you know I'm new at this because I read the ingredients after I bought it. After I bought it, I looked at the carbs. And it's kind of a sad state uh, of affairs when a guy buys meat and he has to worry about it having sugar in it. Uh, not to mention the 15 different kinds of sodium. Uh, let's look at the sodium level on this real quick. Uh... 600 and dang that reflection off that little weird packaging 650 milligrams of sodium for like two or three tablespoons of this meat here uh, it's pretty salty stuff but you know ham ham is typically salty um you know i figure hey i watch my i watch myself the rest of the day i'll let it slide uh but i don't know after looking at the ingredients in this uh, i definitely won't be buying this again but here's the dilemma here's the question i have for everybody what would you do with this package of ham i'm in it five dollars five dollars uh should i just throw it away and be done with it and not poison myself with all these extra ingredients other than what you know should be in there or should i just you know should i just eat it and then not buy more because i don't want to waste you know I'm, not, I'm i'm the type of guy i don't like wasting food um so you know you guys let me know what you do with this diced ham here this diced ham uh with water added from farmland um I'm pretty disappointed in finding, you know, like these ingredients. Um, of course, it is gluten free. Uh, I'm surprised it's actually gluten free. Uh, once opened, used within five days, 94% fat free. Like I say, all those good things. Product of the USA. I do hate to throw it away, but, you know, I blame myself for buying it without looking at the ingredients list first. Um, you know, ham should not have an ingredients list that reads, you know, you know, 15 words that I can't pronounce, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know what you would do with it. I would do appreciate everybody's opinion. If you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing to this channel. Uh, just trying to build a community of good ideas over here and, uh, help guys, you know, and gals stay healthy um so yeah do me a favor leave me a comment let me know what you would do with it would you toss it or would you eat it and then just not buy it again thanks everybody take care stay healthy